Hi, amazing Seattle Public School students. Thank you so much for joining in. I know you're at home keeping busy, staying educated during your work. Um, I know it's a lot. I wish I was with you, um, but let me take it back. My name is Miss Palapil. I'm a fifth grade teacher at Dunlap Elementary School. So today we are going to learn some fourth and fifth grade math concepts. And here I have my daughter who's also a fifth grade student at Dunlap Elementary. Say your name. Hello, my name is Ajene from Dunlap. And we are going to work together to help you practice some math concepts and the fact that you just came and turned on the TV or turned on YouTube to watch this is so amazing. I'm so proud of you and you're just showing that you're still wanting to achieve your goals and, and continue to be amazing mathematicians that we are. So, but I do have to shout out Dunlap. Hey Dunlap. <laughs> Anyone else, thank you so much for viewing in. So we're going to go ahead and start. Okay? So, Today, the goal is, which you should achieve or will achieve, is to actually read it with me. Actually, I'll read it first, and then you can reread, okay? So, I, goal, I will understand and write decimal place values. Okay, Ajane. So, Ajane is going to help me out, and she's going to be my one student today, but you are also my students at home, so please choral re read along with us. Okay, Ajane, go. I will, I will sorry, I will understand, understand and write, write decimal, decimal place, place values. values. Okay, so I know you are smart fourth and fifth graders, and I know you've seen a place value chart before, and what we're gonna do right now is actually write the place value chart, okay? so. I'm going to, so actually, right now, take a moment and get a pen, a pencil, a sheet of paper, anything you have, because I want you to do this with me. So you are creating your place value chart, because what we're going to do in a minute is after we create our place value chart, we're going to learn a little more about the concepts, and then we're going to play a game. Well, and Ajane is going to help me with that game. So here we start. Let's make my, what is this called? What type of lion? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a vertical line. So when I think of vertical, I think of a roller coaster going up and down. So everyone say vertical. 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 So I'm making my, I know it's kind of sloppy. It's okay if it's not perfect. Just make those vertical lines. And then what do you, what's this type of line, Ajne? Or you? horizontal lines, okay? And then now we are going to write our place values. I know you guys are pro at writing whole numbers. So let's start with millions, okay? So say it with me and help me write it out, Ajne. What's the first place value? Millions, hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. And I hope you're writing with me. If I'm too fast, just pause. And if you're watching on TV, you can watch on YouTube later. So million, hundred thousand, what's next? Ten thousands. Ten thousands. Next. One thousands. Thousands. I mean, yeah. Next. One hundred. Hundreds. Did we forget hundred thousand? Did we f no hundred thousand, ten thousand, thousand, hundreds, hundreds. Also, help her out at home. We are all in this together. Hundreds, tens, tens, and one ones. Okay, so let's choral read the place values for whole numbers. Okay, let's start with millions. Ready? Go. Millions, hundred thousand, ten thousand, thousand, hundreds, tens, and one. And then, so now we are moving on to our decimals. I like to think of decimals as um, 
twinsies. So pretty much fractions and decimals can be equal or they are equal. I also like to think of decimals when you buy your Takis or Cheetos at the store. So sometimes it's $1.99. So the 99 cents are the decimals. So let's add our decimal place values on our place value chart. Ajne, do you, and at home, when I ask Ajne something, you are answering too. So Ajne, what is this place value to the right of the decimal? Tenths. Tenths. And notice she said tenths, T-H-S, whereas here it's just tens. Okay, next. Hundreds. Tenths. Hundreds. Also, T-H-S. Uh-oh, I ran out. And if you ran out too, you can always adjust your place value chart. And then next, after hundreds, we have thousands. Thousands. And then next, ten thousandths. Ten thousandths. Okay, let's stop right here. Ten thousandths. So those are small, teeny, teeny fractions or decimals. Okay, so let's now coral read all our place values on our chart. Let's start right here with the whole numbers. Ajne, let's go. Million, hundred thousands, ten thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, tenths, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Okay, so now that we wrote our beautiful place value chart and uh, learned the correct place values, uh, we are going to come back over here and read our vocabulary words. So math to me is like a language. I had to learn math. Just like when I was in middle school and high school, I took Spanish classes, I had to learn to speak Spanish. So now we're learning how to speak math together, okay? So what I want to do at home is make sure you are talking to, it's okay if you're talking to yourself at home. I want you to practice talking at home and using these words, okay, when, we're, when you're doing your math. So everyone after me, after me and Kajane, we speak math. We speak math. Place value. Place value. Tenths. Tenths. Hundreds. Hundreds. Thousands. Thousands. Decimal. Decimal. So today, when you're playing our game with us, please try to use our we, Sme we Speak Math vocab words to practice being a much more sophisticated mathematician that you are. Okay? So now we are going to look at the blocks that would represent each place value. Okay. Actually, let me stand up. So, Ajane, what do you know about this? cube right here. It's... What do you know? Think about it. What I know is on every side it's a hundredth. She said on every side it's a hundredth. there's hundredths. Can you add, out, add on at home? So this side is a hundred, 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 hundred. Are you adding at home? Well, this big cube has a thousand little cubes. If you can see closely that there's a thousand, there's a hundred here, a thousand here, and the whole cube holds a thousand teeny cubic units, okay? So this actually represents thousands. So we would put it in the thousands, thousands. place, okay? And then so, so this is a thousand little cubes. Thousands, say thousands. Thousands. And then, what, what do you know about this? How many cubes? It's a hundred cubes. There's a hundred cubes. So this would represent the hundreds place. So now we have, repeat after me, thousands. Thousands. Hundreds. Hundred. Okay. And then, I know you have guys seen this before at school. Sorry, let me take it out. Oop, wrong one. We have, what is this called? Tens. Tens. So where do you think we should use this to represent? 
what place value? The tens place. The tens place. And I hope you said that before her. <laughs> Just playing. <laughs> and then so we have, say it with me, thousands. Thousands. And then we have our hundreds. Hundreds. And last but not least. Tens. Now, and then how about this one, everyone? This little teeny one. 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 So where would that go? In the ones place. In the ones place. But what about our tenths? How can we use our base 10 block to represent tenths? Think in your brain. What did you say? How can we use the tenths block to represent tenths? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you. So we have tens right here, right? Ten, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But we just want to represent tenths. So that means we want to represent one tenth of this. So I'm going to color in. This cube, cubic unit, this cube right here. And now I've represented one out of 10. Think about that. Does that make sense? And what do you understand when I said that, Ajane? What I understand when I said that is where the, when you say one out of 10, like one cube is colored out of the 10. So we have one tenths. So before we had tens, the whole base 10 block, and now we just have one tenths. So if I broke this stick up into 10 pieces, I would just give one to Ajane. This little piece right here, this cube, would just be one tenths. So now thinking about hundreds, the hundreds place, what would how can I use this to represent the hundreds place? Think in your brain, and then go ahead and say it out loud. One hundredths. So what should I do with my marker? You should color in one cube of the hundreds. So she said color in one cube, so one out of a hundred. So one hundredths. Okay, oh, I did a thousand. My bad. One hundred. Okay, how about thousands? We're moving on to the thousands place. Think in your brain, what do you think I should do with this cube? Stay at home. And then Ajane, share your thoughts. Color in one cube and leave the rest so it turns into a one thousand. So one out of? Thousand. One out of one thousands. 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 I ran out of space. So one over thousands. All right? Group. And if you don't understand right now, or you're having a little difficulty understand, that's okay. Because we're going to play a game that will help you understand the place values. Okay. So if you don't have a dice, you can either use a dice at home or you can make cards. And a lot of students don't have dice at home. I don't, we don't have dice at home. So we made cards. And so you would make two piles of cards, okay? From zero to nine. So this is what, it, what I did. I just cut up paper and put zero to nine. And on the back, it's little decimals, like the decimal we have here between the one and the tenth. Okay, and then we also have another pile. I made it blue to keep it organized, one through nine, and then also on the back we have our decimal, okay? So the game is this. This cards have been shuffled already. We'll shuffle again to make it more interesting. Okay, Ajne, so go ahead and pick out, pick out a card from the pile and place it down. 
and splice it down. Oops, sorry. And then we can pick another card. Let's go up to, what do you want to do? Do you want to go up to tenths or hundredths? Tens. Tenths? Okay, so she wants to stick to tenths. So we're going to have the pink pile be the whole numbers and the blue pile be the decimals or the fractions because remember they're twinsies, they're equivalent. So we have to put our decimal and we will put it right in between our whole number. So five and seven. So now what we have to do, we got this random number from our random card pile and we have to place it on our place value chart. And this is, and you can challenge yourself to make different numbers, but let's go ahead and do that right now. So Ajane, looking at our number five and seven, where should I place the f digit five? five? And at home, think about it. Tell me. I think you should put the digit five in the ones place because there's a decimal right after it. Okay, so she said, and if you agree at home, you can even do the agree sign that some of us do in our classroom. So she said, put the decimal, the, the digit five in the ones place, and where should we put our digit seven? In the tens place, because the seven is right next to the decimal, and the decimal is right next to the tenths. So what is our number? Five, five and seven tenths. Five and seven tenths. And notice she used the place value when she said five and seven tenths. Okay, let's do it again. Okay? So now, do you want to try hundreds too? Okay, so go ahead and pick a hole. Place it down. Oh, we should have put our cards in here. Just put it in the middle. Okay, and then put, you said we want to go up to the hundreds, so pick two cards and place it to the, looks like the right of the decimal, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have, let's read it on our table, two and nine, nine eight. eight. But let's put it in our place value chart so we can actually read it correctly. Okay, so at, people at home, think about where I should put these digits. So... Ajane, where should I put, ooh, let me go backwards, make it harder. Where should I put the eight digit? I think you should put the eight digit in the hundredths place. The hundredths place? Yeah. Where do you think I should put the nine digit? In the tenths place. And where do you think I should put the digit two? In the ones place. Okay, and then, of course, we have to... Line up the decimals. Yep, line up our decimals. And everyone, let's read it with me. Two and, and, nine, nine, and 98 hundreds. hundreds. Say it again. Two, Two and, and 98 hundreds. hundreds. Because the last digit is in the... Hundreds place. Yes, thank you. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, let's put it in shuffle. And you can play this with anyone, or you can just challenge yourself at home and use our place value chart to practice your mathematician skills. All right, Ajane, go ahead. Next one more. And can I do two digits? That's up to you. Oh, she's going for, oh wait, use that card. Oh, you want, use that card. Because we're gonna make sure that the whole numbers are pink and the decimals are blue. Is that good? All right, here we go. I'm gonna trick her. Do, uh, does everyone see what we have? We have six, nine, and eight, eight one. one. So I'm gonna trick her. I'm gonna try to trick you. So where should I put my Eight digit. Digit eight. What place value? I think you should put the digit eight in the tenths 
place. Okay, so do you agree with her at home? Tenths place. And then where should we put digit six? In the hundreds place. In the hundreds place? Yeah. Do we disagree at home? Wait, no, in the tens place. <laughs> Let's count. Let's count. Ready? Let's start. Tens, tens ones. ones. So this digit six goes in the tens. tens place. That's okay. If you messed up, that's why we're practicing. And digit nine goes where? In the ones place. In the ones place. And last but not least, digit one. In the hundreds in the hundreds place. All right, and then of course we have to make sure we put, it put our decimals and line them up. Yep, in the correct spot between the ones and the ten. Okay, now let's read the number. 61 and 81 hundredths. Okay, so that's my students at home, what you can do at home. So you, it's easy to make these cards, or you could have used dice, and you just roll a dice for a whole number, and have roll another dice for the decimals, and you can keep practicing it at home, practice at home to strengthen your place value skills. And here's the secret. In fifth grade, I struggled with math. I probably wrote I hate math in my seventh grade textbooks all over it until there is this one amazing teacher who helped me out and broke it down, which is what we hope we did today. And I hope to see you on the next video when we actually compare our, our decibels. All right, see you later. Thank you.